Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosted in Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, we're going to go over a really cool software package, and it's called Mac X HD Video Converter Pro for Windows. And yes, they have a version of the software for Macintosh. And it is a trial version. You can download the trial version, but if you want to, you can also purchase an activation key for long term use. But basically, in a nutshell, it's a really a hefty duty video converter for both Windows and Macintosh. So that's pretty cool. You want to take one particular video file and convert it for your all your devices, portable devices. Also, you can also use the tool to do things like download YouTube videos pretty easily and edit them. Or you can make funny sl uh, slideshows with background music. Or you can take multiple videos, put into one video, or easily edit, trim, merge, uh, add subtitles, things like of that nature. So take a look at this video description page. It has all the different features of what you can do. I'm also going to link in the video description a link to um, like the user guide to all the different main features here is pretty pretty detailed and it's pretty simple to use software So let's go ahead and go into the software real quick and give you um, a Feel for what this program is and how it works. So this is what it looks like If you click on the video button here, you can select any type of video file on your computer So I'm gonna select a random file that I have here and then here you can say you know all the different profiles you want to do so let's say for example you want to encode a video to like an iPhone video type profile and you got an iPhone 6 plus so go ahead click on OK if you want to you can click the edit button and edit further with subtitles or crop and expanding or trimming or you could also click on this gears icon edit the profile even further than coding profile or you can also click on rename to and rename the output file and then if you want to there's other options you can do here like if you want a more high quality video you could you just say uh, use high quality engine for example here I got eight cores I'm gonna select all eight cores and then if you go to the help section here you can also learn more about uh, you know some of these other features once you are ready to go go ahead change your default uh, destination folder if you want click on the run button and then it's gonna go ahead and actually encode your video so I did a sample test earlier today I took like a 700 megabyte file and converted it to a file that's less than three megabytes so that's pretty awesome and it saves you a lot of space and the speed for encoding is pretty quick too, depending on your CPU power, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that portion of it right now. So just so you have an idea of how that works. Another thing is, let's say you wanna use uh, YouTube and download YouTube videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use this default here. And how it works is, let's say you have some favorite YouTube video online, you copy and paste that URL, and then it's gonna tell you what are the different resolutions and the formats and the size and the codecs you can use. So let's say you wanna download, I don't know, like you know, this particular resolution, you click on OK, and then you click on the Run button, and it's gonna go ahead and download that and encode it to the appropriate file format for you, which is pretty cool. Another option you could do is, um, is this photo option. So, for example, um, if you go to the photo section, and maybe what I should do is just wait for this to finish stopping, so click OK and stop. Okay, great. So now you click on the photo section, here you just add like a folder that has all your photos. So let's say I do this, I select my folder here, and then here's your profile. So let's say we're gonna do an Android pad, and let's say I got a Samsung, and you know, a general Samsung pad here. And then you can go into edit. Here under edit, you can, you know, you see all your different pictures. So here you can adjust your intervals and how often you want your pictures to show. You can also add music as well. And then you can have a pretty cool slideshow with music in the background. So that's another option you can do. If you want to do anything and you want an easy way to finish everything or clear everything, just click on the clear and you're good to go back to the home page. If you click on options here, you got more options of what you can um, change. You could change the default audio language and also some other particular things here that you can see in this video screen. And then that's pretty much it. If you ever get stuck, by all means, click on the help section here. It's going to take you to the website and there you can learn more about the program and FAQs and other particular features. So that is a quick overview of the Mac X HD Video Converter Pro for Windows, also available for Macintosh. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.